Reduce Your Risk with John Pastorek is brought to you by Subway and Lane Regional Medical Center. Welcome back to Sunday Journal. I'm John Pastorek. Today we're counting down to the Capital Area Heart Walk. Coming up next Saturday, March 30th at City Hall Plaza in downtown Baton Rouge. Many women will walk in the Heart Walk. Some who've suffered heart attacks. Others who listened to their bodies and didn't ignore symptoms. Now let's meet Shanika, who had a heart scare. And she's sharing her experience to educate other women and save lives. Shanika Johnson works in health care. The 46-year-old monitors heart patients at the telemetry unit at Lane Regional Medical Center. But not long ago, she became the patient as she started having chest pains. She didn't take any chances. She went to see her doctor. They did a stress test, and the pains persisted. So Shanika went straight to the cath lab. Her doctor discovered she had a condition called coronary myocardial bridging. It's a condition she was born with, but never knew she had. Yeah, I was nauseated, my arm was tight, and the pain, it was just like a, a hard pain. So I called and they told me to, you know, come right in. Shanika was one of the lucky ones because she listened to her body and didn't ignore symptoms. Heart disease is the number one killer of women in Louisiana. Dr. Charles Thompson works on the front lines of heart disease. He's a cardiologist at Lane Regional Medical Center. He's seeing more and more women having heart attacks, and in many cases, they ignore their symptoms. It's the same scenario I've been saying for the last 20 years doing this, and it's to the, every patient that I see. When you have a heart attack, 90% of the time, you're going to die within the first 40 minutes of the onset of pain. Now, that doesn't mean everybody with a heart attack is going to die. It's just that the people that die, die within 40 minutes of the onset of pain. That's why we ask you, if in 15 minutes the discomfort doesn't go away, come to the ER. I'd rather see you for an indigestion or gallbladder attack than to have you sit at home and die of heart disease. It seems like indigestion. I, I mean, so many people, they tell me, oh, yeah, well, it was bad, so I went to bed and slept to see if it would get better. These are the people that you find in the bed passed away. You've got to get to the hospital. GI, uh, stomach pain, gallbladder pain, most of it will pass in 10 to 15 minutes, and then you know it's probably not my heart. But if pain lasts more than 15 minutes, you've got to come to the ER. Why is time so important when you're talking about your heart and you're talking about a heart attack? A heart is not a crawfish claw. It does not grow back. Heart pain, chest pain, when you're having a heart attack is death of heart muscle. The longer you have pain, the more heart muscle you lose. Why are you seeing more women? It's the diet. Women are no different than the men, and women are taking their kids drive through McDonald's because they don't have time. They're working. They don't have time to come home and bake a roast or fix a pot roast or do baked chicken. They drive through McDonald's and they're eating the same thing that children do. And that's why. It's a diet. Shanika is back at work and now she takes medication to control the condition. But she uses any chance she can to share her story with other women and teach them one main lesson when it comes to heart disease. Don't ignore your symptoms, get them checked out. Why is that so important? Because one day it might save your life. It's, yeah. it's so many, you know, they're so similar till, you know, you need to know. Don't take it for granted. Some great advice there, and you can meet many heart patients like Shanika and heart attack survivors at the Capillaria Heart Walk coming up next Saturday, March 30th at City Hall Plaza in downtown Baton Rouge. For more information, check out their website, capitalareaheartwalk.org. That's capitalareaheartwalk.org. I'm John Pastorek. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next week on Sunday Journal.